Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one has come to me from the lovely people at dpclubs.com uh, and they've got some exciting stuff going on at the minute. There is 23% off uh, at the moment as I'm making this video. I've just been to have a look and check the special offers. So yeah. Uh, if you've got things that you're wanting or things in your wish lists, 23% off. That's fantastic. So pop over there and have a look. And if you spend over $39, then there is free shipping as well. Obviously, check for your region, your area, uh, and check that the uh, discounts and everything are applicable to your area. But that's what's going on at the moment on the website. Yay! Okay, let's get into this and have a look and see what we've got today. So we have a, ooh, a diamond painting and another diamond painting and oops, a box. So yeah, we've got some specials and a diamond painting. Let's do it different today. Let's do the diamond painting first for a change. Okay, so let's see what this one is this time. It is a full drill. And if a memory serves me, I think this one is a glow in the dark. Yes, it is. Okay, which one did I get? Right, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Get into this. Yeah. So my favourite size, 30 by 40. And it is Starry Night combined with the wave. Yay! So I'm definitely getting cultured, don't you think? <laughs> So I have got one starry night done that uh, is glow in the dark and then I've got this one to do which is starry night combined with the wave. Nice uh, canvas, not too uh, thin but nice and bendable so it will go nice and flat. Okay. Just get that crease out of the middle there Liz, what are you playing at? Not flatten that down very well. Now I've not flattened this edge down very well. Oh dear. <laughs> Liz is how not to uh, make YouTube videos and diamond paint 101. Okay, but I think you can see that's a lovely a clear drill field. We have got guide circles, uh, actually, but only on the darker colours. Now that's interesting. If you look at that, the uh, white doesn't have the guide circles around it. The number fours have got a very pale around it, but that's in the shading. So that's really good. Uh, guide circles are useful, uh, particularly when you're first starting out, and that's where there's like a circle around showing you where to put your drill so that you get them all lined up. Uh, but unfortunately, if you don't get it lined up correctly and right on top of the number, um, and where the circle is sometimes the edges can show and you get like funny lines on your pictures but I don't think I've ever noticed that before or seen that before so yeah it's got guide circles but not on the white because white is notorious for you being able to see the guide circles underneath uh, yeah so I like that idea that's really good Ooh, but yeah, I like this picture. I have got a picture of the wave as well, and it is a full glow in the dark on that one. So I thought this would just be a little bit different. It's also got our nice edging as well, which is something that seems to be coming up on a few, where you've got like just that half a centimetre edge where there is no drills. So if you've got a frame um, and it's not quite the right size, or you just want, it's like framing, edging your painting. You just get that little bit extra around the edges. And I do like that, so I'm very impressed with this. Yeah, well done DP Clubs, like this one. Uh, a little bit up from a basic toolkit, because we have got some grip seal bags in there as well. There are 20 different colours. Nice clear key code, all with numbers and capital letters. And we have got one is one down to eight is eight, which is excellent. And I can't see that there's going to be anything particularly tripping us up there. They all look pretty good to me, but obviously I will do it and let you know. Uh, number 20 is S, which is the glow in the dark. We've got a YG there. If you can see that. Oops, no, you can't see that. 
if you can see that YG means that it's a glow in the dark drill. So, ah, uh, uh, now then, so the ones without uh, the guide circles around are all the glow in the dark. That is a lot of glow in the dark on this. That's going to be really good. And some all over here as well. Uh, there's none over there in that. So it is just on the wave side of things that we've got the glow in the dark. We've even got it telling us how to or where to cut out our look as well. Excellent. It's poured glue as well, which is my favourite. I say 30 by 40s are my favourite. I mean, each to their own. Some people like doing the huge ones and I do admire people that do huge paintings. But I like to just have my smaller paintings that I can get done in a few days or a week. And I just get that satisfaction from them. That's just me. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments. Would you be interested in another little 30 by 40 challenge for March? Uh, we did one last year. Was it uh, October, September? Possibly September. Can't quite remember. I've had a lot of sleep since then. Uh, yeah, so let me know if anybody would be interested in taking part in a little challenge. Um, everybody did 30 by 40 paintings and then just either put them onto Instagram or emailed me them or messaged me them. Um, and then I picked out quite a few winners and we had a real lot of fun. There were some really good ones. So yeah, let me know and I can organise that again. We'll have another little bit of fun. Okay, so let's see what size we are. I'll measure to the actual uh, cutting area. So it is uh, 36 centimetres. So the actual drill area then will be 35 centimetres. So it is roughly half a centimetre, the border that you get around these. So that probably means that it's going to be a 25. So yeah, it's 26 to the cut area. And the actual drill area is 25. So it's fairly standard for a 35, 30 by 40 poured glue painting. I like it when they're nice and clear and you can just get on and just do your little section and then another little section and just work your way through them. Right, so let's have a look at these drills. Okay, so 20 colours. And, oh, look at these. Nice different ones no hot pink i don't think in this one there but we can't have everything <laughs> so we have oh look and that does that indicate an ab it does that is a 444 ab so we have oh we've got two glow in the darks oh wow uh h is a glow in the dark as well oh heck oh this is going to be wonderful so we've got an AB. AB's uh, Aurora Borealis. It's like an iridescent coating that you put on a, a standard drill and uh, it just gives you that little extra twinkle. Wow, lovely. And then a pale uh, lemony colour and like a very pale mauve colour and an even paler mauve colour. Wow. And a nice very pale baby blue and like a bit of a burgundy type colour. And that's like, oh, look at that. What colour is that? Are they both the same? No, they're actually two different colours, albeit. Oh, it looks more in the camera. Um, but in real life, they look to my eyes at the moment anyway. They look the same colour. But uh, that's like a purpley blue. And then that's just a little bit bluer. And then we've got a very dark grey. A little bit of a chestnut colour. And a caramac chocolate colour. And an orangey brown. And then we're on to our like aqua blues and another like russety colour and some more aqua colours. Very, very pretty. There's going to be a lot of tone in this and some more sort of mocha chocolatey colours. And then that's our glow in the dark white at the end. So what was the other glow in the dark? It was, let me have a look. It was 995, which, which number was it? 14, so number 14. Ooh, so that one is a aqua blue glow in the dark. Oh, ooh, very nice. Let's try the glow in the dark. So I just got this little UV light. Uh, it was just one of those mad purchases that I saw it on special offer and I thought, oh, I'm just going to have a go with that. And you might just catch as I switch it off, you will just see, you can see a little bit now that 
particularly the blue, are starting to go a different colour. And you can just see a little bit of glow uh, without me being in the dark. So there you are. That's it. Oh, they've definitely gone like a greeny colour. Wow. Okay. Got these in here. And we'll have a look at the next one. Oh, and the price of that one at the moment is $7.79. So the next one is a special drill painting and it's a little bit wintry, a little bit Christmassy, um, possibly early for Christmas this year, but we are still winter, um, our sky this morning did look a little bit snowy and I just couldn't resist when I saw the picture. Look at the bunny, look at the little bunny. It is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a little bird up here and a lovely little bunny oh, all huddled up in the snow and the flowers. Let's give it a quick flatten down just to help it to flatten out a little bit. And I just thought, oh, I mean, we do get snow in spring. Um, one of the nurses that we were talking to this week was saying that her daughter's birthday is 6th of March and it has quite often snowed on the 6th of March on her birthday. Um, she was saying sadly that one year uh, she, the, her daughter was wanting a bouncy castle and it snowed so they couldn't use the bouncy castle. But anyway, she'd organised other things as well. So it wasn't quite such a disaster. But yeah, so as I say, although it's snow and a little bit wintry, it's not Christmas really, is it? It's just wintry. And I just thought, that little bunny, couldn't you just all oh, give that little nose a squidge? Okay, so we've got 11 different colours and gems. Oh, all specials look all crystal. Ooh, ooh, there's one in there that looks very different. Uh, basic toolkit, pen, boat and wax. So enough to get your project done. Uh, give it a quick measure. It's uh, 30 by 40, so I think it probably will be a 35 by 25, but we'll double check. So uh, yeah, just slightly under 35 centimetres, but it's not quite flat, is it? So it probably is about 35 by 25 centimetres. So we're nine and three quarter inches and 13 and three quarter inches if you want in, in imperial sizes. Okay. To flatten. Once it's been under something, it'll let flatten itself down. Again, a nice softish canvas, not too soft, but soft enough. And, oh, I just fell in love with that picture and I just love the colours as well. Just those little highlights of hot pink. <laughs> right, let's see what we've got in here. Such a nice gems. Mm, lots of difference. Okay, oh, and the price of this one on the mo uh, at the moment on the website is $5.79. So let's have a look. Let's start at the standard crystals first and we'll work our way through. So with this lovely champagne goldy colour, a very bluey, bright, white, sparkly crystal, a nice dark blue crystal and a little bit lighter blue. Oh, and look at that. That's like a fire orange colour. Oh, wow. Nice brownie, bronzy colour. A little bit of purple, some fresh green, and then we've got half sphere, just plain half circles of white. Then we've got some AB coated like white pearls, and then these are AB coated larger rounds. That iridescent coating on them just gives them that like oil and water effect, just that little bit more sparkle. It was that colour that I saw, I don't think I've had them. Um, a gem in that colour before. It's like a real orangey, fiery red colour. Love that. Absolutely love it. Ooh, another one to go on my can't wait to do it pile. Which just about reaches the ceiling these days. <laughs> okay. So, oh, little bunny, little bunny. The bird singing, look. Do you think this is the breath coming out of the bird? It looks like it. Oh, but yeah, little bunny. Oh, how cute. At least it's all fluffy, so it'll keep its nice fair coat on to keep it nice and warm. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. And then the final item is a special drill project, which I do like doing. Okay, comes in one of these nice boxes. I don't like getting a box. <laughs> okay, and it's a build it one. Right, we've got lots of birthdays coming up this year in the family. Quite a few special birthdays as well. So I thought this would be pretty good to do. So, oh, we've got two lots of drills. Oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. I wonder if they're in two lots then. Oh, that's just a pass of the box. Just pop that in the bin. I wonder if possibly one is for one part and one is the other. So it's all double sided. Oh, we've not got the toolkit. Oh dear. Uh, Looks like we've got two lots of drills, but sadly we've not got the tool kit with it because this will actually all put together. Um, it's like a, a stand, a swinging cake, a cake stand. <laughs> and then the birthday cake will go, I think it goes in, does it go in the middle? Yes, it does because it's see-through. And it will go sort of back to back that way and it will hang in between the two stands so that you'll get the cake swinging in between the two stands there but sadly no we've not got the toolkit we've got a standard toolkit with a few bags and a few grip seal bags but you usually get like little um screws and how many are we doing one two three four five six seven and then a big one for the top, yeah. So I'll have to get in touch with them and just let them know that uh, the bits are missing from this one. That's sad. Okay, I'll get in touch with them and let them know. Anyway, so we'll continue as though we have got uh, the toolkit because, as I've always said, it's how companies deal with things um, rather than actually the fact that the mistakes get made because they do get made. It's easily done. Right, so the nice clear drill field. It's all acrylic. And it's printed is it on the top? I think it's printed on the top. So we've got two of those to do. And I just thought that this would really like a nice keepsake. I know uh when I was younger, when it was like your 18th or your 21st, you used to buy like in a box a silver plastic key for people because it was supposed to be like key to the door at either 21 and then they changed it to 18. And they were like keepsakes. Um so I thought this would make quite a nice keepsake for a bigger birthday and I can always add um, whatever it is, whichever birthday it is onto there. And I can either put it on the cake or I can put it on the stand or put it on the star at the top there. So just personalise it that little bit just to put the age on it. So uh, yeah, that'll be quite good fun. I wonder why I've got two lots of drills. I mean, these are already in grip seal bags. So let's have a look. Possibly They've decided when they did those that there wasn't quite enough drills, so they've put some extras in. Let's have a look. So let's start from the back. So number 15 is like um, a pearly yellow with an iridescent coating on. Number 14 is your cherry red, which hasn't got any uh, facets on it. Then we've got a purpley grapey colour there and a little bit deeper purple there. And a very pale lemony gold. And a very pale pink. And we've got a hot pink. Yeah, we had to have a hot pink in there somewhere. We can't have an unboxing without a hot pink. <laughs> and we've got a lovely red colour. And that's like a bronzy brownie colour. A nice fresh green. A honey gold. Sorry, it's very, very dark in here. And then we've got, oh, that lovely orangey colour. It's not quite as fire red as the other one. It's like a very ambery orange colour, that one. And a pale blue. And just standard silver. And then a nice, oops, cherryish red again. So that's those colours. And then let's just have a look at these. I wonder if these match up the same. Oh, they've got different numbers on. 
how they have put these in by mistake instead of putting the tool kit in. It's quite possible because these are... Yeah, unless these go with the different one. Ah, now then, possibly they are the cake then. Let me have a look. So number one, yes, would be red. Number 15, yes, would be yellow. So I think that could be the cake then. So it's this one then. Number one is pink. Number two is gold. Number three is orange. Number four is another orangey colour. And number five... Is that ready colour there? So they could be for those. So what about number seven? Number seven's brown. Oh, no. Number seven. Do you know what? I'm going by me. So then number seven is like the pearls and number six is the bottom of there. So yeah. All oh, right. So that's different. I've not had that before. So you've got one lot of drills that go to the little stand bit and the other set of drills that go to the cake. Very good. I do like these projects though and I don't think they're quite special. Um, something just that little bit different if you're looking to give somebody a present that you want them to keep. Uh, and it's something they can bring out year after year. Quite a nice table centre as well, you know, and it'll swing backwards and forwards once it's all made up. Okay, put these back away in here. Okay, so we've had a lovely little DIY project of a little cake stand that'll swing about a bit, make a great little present or a, a little stand for the middle of the table. We've had our gorgeous little snow bunny there, oh, little nose, and then our very classic artistic uh, starry night with the wave all combined together. Okay, well, a huge thank you to DP Clubs for sending me these to show you. I absolutely love them, but I think the rabbit's my favourite. That little bunny in the snow. Just want to give it a pick up and cuddle. Oh, <laughs> if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. Don't forget to go and have a look and uh, see if there's anything you want with 23% off at dpclubs.com. And if you want to come back here and see what I get up to next, then by pressing that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.